And to be able to have a platform where my voice means something, you know, in, in a way because of th the sport that I'm playing at a high level. So it's just, just really grateful. Maya Moore is more than just a basketball player. She's an activist, a role model, and a legend in women's sports. SI even named Moore their 2017 Performer of the Year and the greatest winner in the history of women's basketball. But how did Moore become the icon she is today? This is the genesis of Maya Moore. Maya April Moore was born on June 11, 1989 in Jefferson City, Missouri. She got her first taste of basketball at age three when her mom mounted a hoop on the back door of their apartment. It was a tiny spark that ignited a lifelong run of dominance in the sport. As a four-year starter at Collins Hill High School in Georgia, Moore steamrolled her competition. She led them to three state championships, compiling a record of 125-3. and three. After winning the 2007 High School National Championship, Moore was named to the McDonald's All-America team and awarded Player of the Year. A 4-0 student in school, she took her talents to UConn, home of the most dominant women's basketball program in the country. Moore hit the ground running, leading the Huskies in scoring and a record of 36-2 in her first season. She became the second freshman in women's college basketball history to become a first-team All-American. There would be no sophomore slump for her as she led UConn to an undefeated season, complete with a national championship and National Player of the Year honors. After winning another national championship and Player of the Year award, Moore finished her Husky career as the school's all-time leading scorer, a four-time All-American, and compiled a record of 150 and four. As if that wasn't impressive enough, Moore graduated with a 3.7 GPA. In 2011, the Minnesota Lynx selected Moore with a first overall pick. On the pro level, her dominance in basketball only grew. As of 2018, Moore is a five-time All-Star, a four-time WNBA champion, and an MVP. She's also been a star for her country, winning two Olympic gold medals with Team USA. But as much as she's accomplished on the court, Moore has been influential off the court as well. Not only is she the first women's basketball player to get a shoe line with Nike's Jordan brand, she's become a passionate advocate for criminal justice reform and the fight for those wrongly convicted. In 2016, after Alton Sterling and Philando Castile were killed by police, Moore and her Minnesota Lynx teammates took the floor wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts, displaying the two men's names. With a message that change starts with us, Moore told reporters, we as a nation could decide to stand up for what is right, no matter your race, background, or social status. It is time that we take a deep look at our ability to be compassionate and empathetic to those suffering from the problems that are deep within our society. Again, this is a human issue, and we need to speak out for change together. You know, I know that when you enter into uh, social or political areas, it's not always positive, but I, I just try to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing it, um, you know, like I said, thoughtfully and, and trying to be aware of the, the facts and, and do, it, do it honestly. So um, I think that also inspires people uh, when people are really doing things honestly, putting themselves out there to, to try to affect change. Winning might be Maya Moore's legacy in basketball, but her advocacy off the court affects a far greater impact for young men and women everywhere. If there are enough of us as athletes that have influence and are connected with our communities, you're going to find something that stirs your heart to where you can you know, lend your voice or, or um, you know, whatever means that you have.